That building over there, what's that building called? That's the old Loughborough Baths, or as you would say, Baths. Bath, yeah. Bath. Uh, swimming baths. We used to swim in baths. But yeah, I know you do, yeah. But is that, do you reckon you could have uh, got a bath in there as well? I think, probably, they might have had public baths in there as well. Public baths, yeah. Hang on, let's move out the way. Hey, mate, right. No worries. All right. Yeah. I remember the public baths. Whereabouts? Down, um, well, obviously, South East London, down Albany Road. Ah. Albany Road, so it's still there. They've got a boxing club there now. And on the side of it, they've got a very famous mural. Famous mural? Very famous mural of a butterfly. Who did it? I don't know who did the mural, but the butterfly is called the Camberwell Beauty. Ah, and there is a butterfly called the Camberwell Beauty. And there is a Beauty. butterfly called the Camberwell Beauty. And guess where they found it? In Camberwell. In Camberwell, that's right. That's right. Anyway, this is where we're going today. We're going to go into the Loughborough Bath because now it's Charmwood Museum. And it's been Charmwood Museum for a number of years and it's won lots of awards actually. Charmwood Museum is one of the best, the best small museum award. That's oh, going to be interesting then. And it's straight opposite the library, which we'll visit another day. But which is which is called the Carnegie. The Car well, I say Carnegie. Car no, Carnegie. Carnegie. <laughs> Carnegie. The Carnegie Library. Guess how many Carnegie libraries there are in this country? How many Carnegie libraries are there in this country? Oh, I know right. there are a lot, and there yeah. are and in America as well. Hundreds of them. Yeah. That was his. That was his thing, wasn't it? To yeah. To pay back. Because I think he came from Scotland and went to America. Dunfermline. And what did he make his money in? Munitions or something? Railways. Carnegie Railways. Was, was it railways? Railways Energy. Was he an oil, ma oil magnet? Something for us to find out. Um, for, Mr Carnegie. Can we yeah. find out what Carnegie made his money yeah, doing? He's got, got the Carnegie word. Look at that. Yeah, I think that it must have been something exploitative he made his money out of because he really wanted to pay back. He wanted people to read. And group. now we're closing libraries left, right and centre in Britain, um, public libraries. They're saying if you want to run them, you've got to run them voluntarily. But what a fantastic building. It's a fantastic building. The Carnegie Library in Loughborough. Would have made a good pub, wouldn't it? Would have made a good pub. With books. With books, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's probably what it would turn into if the, yeah. if the government have got its way. So Charmwood Museum is actually in Queen's Park and it's a beautiful park, Queen's Park and at its centre we have the, the um, something else we might say differently, the, the, I say Carillion. I say Carillion. But other people say Carillon. They don't. They do. It's Carillion isn't it? Of course it's Carillion. But it's not yeah. spelt Carillion. But I say Carillion which is a big bell tower, you can see it in the distance there. And that is actually a war memorial, and we'll visit that one day as well. And if we're lucky, we might even hear the bells ringing. Here we are, Charmwood Museum. It's got a Before we go to Charmwood Museum, what about the, the famous... Do you want to have a look at it? It's a, it's a what's it, a mould, is it? It's, it's, the, the it's the cast. cast it's one cast. of the biggest bells ever cast in the world, I yeah. think. Yeah. Because in Loughborough, we have the last surviving bell foundry in Britain. And Taylor's. it's one of the most famous in the world. Taylor's, isn't Taylor's, it? Yeah. yeah, Taylor's. Taylor's Bell Foundry. Didn't they uh, make a bell for um, Big Ben? They made the refurbishment a... of Big Ben. Yeah, and they've got, yeah. they've got bell... I don't know if they made the Liberty Bell as well for America. Oh, maybe, yeah. Not sure. But here Liberty we go. Bell? It's huge. If you stand next yeah, to it, yeah, Russ, yeah. we can see yeah. how big that is. I'm moving back and back. Now imagine that huge bell that must have been made from that cast in the uh, in the foundry in Loughborough. Taylor's Bell Foundry. Yeah. I can't see any notes. Oh, there is a note about it over here, look. Let's have a look at the note about this. We might eventually get into the museum, you never know. <laughs> so much to see. This is Great Paul. Mm. Where is it? The bell case they call it. Oh, St Paul's Cathedral. And it's from our oh, St Paul's Cathedral. Yeah, so it was it was built made for St Paul's. Mm. 1868. 1868. Oh, uh, that's when he was. But they made the bell in 1881. Oh right, yeah? okay. Oh yeah. And first bell ringing was in 1882. Crikey. What's the um, what you call bell ringing? Bell ringing. Yeah. I think they call it bell ringing, don't they? No, it's got a name, isn't it? 
but I know that there's there's the bell ringing you do by hand. That's yeah. called something. What's and that the, called then? I I can't remember. <laughs> I only found this out. I didn't find it out the other day. So what do they call it when Cam you... Campanology. Of course it's campanology. 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 It sounds kind of like theatrical, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm studying campanology. Yeah, you'll laugh at this. There was um, a crossword recently and the clue was what was um, um, Cosimodo's um, artistic skill right yeah bell ringing i was thinking uh, uh, acrobatics <laughs> swinging on the bell because <laughs> he was swinging he was swinging on the bells but never got anywhere near that correct because obviously it was campanology well that's why his face was always like a bit squashed wasn't he when rob <laughs> when, look, charles lawton played charles him, didn't lawton it? Yeah. but his face was all squashed well, and that's yeah. because occasionally when he swung on it he got bashed he got bashed <laughs> and people used to say to him face rings a bell <laughs> that's right <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> i'm not sure about that one yeah. that must have been out of an old christmas cracker no it's from a very long performance poem that i used to do oh is it and oh, i first it did it live with wow federation and i was about 20 minutes before they came on stage in Oxford in oh, yeah. about 1981. 1981. And it was like, I used to have this character that was called Rex Every Mother's Son Tucker, who was a stand up comedian. That was you? <laughs> yeah, and he was rubbish. Oh, my. I, I might have laughed at that. <laughs> he was deliberately rubbish. Yeah. Give me an idea there. Yeah, Rex Every Mother's Son Tucker. Rex Every Mother's Son Tucker. I could just imagine it on a poster. Yeah, okay. Well. So here we are, Charmwood Museum. Yeah. Nice sign. Yeah. Peeling a bit. Maybe needs a refurb. 18, You're welcome to wear your face covering here. It will help keep the rates down. Yeah. You didn't say what the, the council rates. Interest rates. Interest rates. A bit like flares. <laughs> Shop. Which way you think? This one starts as this side. This side. It doesn't matter which yeah. way around you this go. Is, we end up in the shop, so this is the start here. We end up in the shop, whichever way round you go. <laughs> yeah. In this one. So, the start is here, the end is there. Ah. Oh, because of the story of Charmwood. Yes. So starting from the rocks. Well, we're starting archaeology and then what could be brought to the area over the years. Then we've got the rocks and the geology. Then we we'll go back through the trees with the wildlife, farming, industries and education. All right, we're going but to do it then. We're two semicircles, so that's why you end up... Like a snail, side. like an ammonite. Similar, except for in that one, you just go round and round and round. Yeah, you would do. Yeah. All right, we're off then. Yeah. It's on the left. A temporary exhibition space on far and down there, which is 50 years of the Ugandan Asians in Mufra. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. 50 years of Ugandan Asians in Mufra. Yeah, that's a good one. So it's starting here with Bronze Age artifacts found at Beacon Hill, which is the highest point in Leicestershire. Is it the highest point in yeah, Leicestershire? Leicestershire, Beacon Hill, yeah. Is it? Yeah. I thought it was um, the other one as you go out to... Arrows Hill. No, as you go to mo the motorway. The other motorway thing that... Bowden Hill. Near Col Colville. Bowden no. Hill. It, it, I think it's because a bit higher, I'm not sure. Oh, you may be right, yeah. It's not, it's not yeah, cold. Yeah. What's it called? Um, but around here, it's got to be Beacon Hill, hasn't it? Yeah, Beacon Hill, yeah. The first farmers... Now you you thought there might not be much in here, didn't you? Um, I did say that. So it, so it, you said not much of interest, I said. <laughs> there might be not much of interest in here, but I think it's already interesting. Yeah, yeah. What's this? Looks like a little... A bee, eh? Is it a beehive? I don't know. What is it? What does it say? Beehive kerns take their name from their shape, similar to a natural beehive. Yeah, it is a beehive, yeah. So the right is where the Romans made, uh, got honey. I've never seen that before. No, so beehive curds. Curds. Beehive curds. 
I, I had never seen one of those before, and you have done all that work around bees. Yeah. I've had the skep on my head and everything. Never heard of it. A beehive kern. 400 BC. That's a Roman one, but they were, they were there before the Roman. A kern, it, no, it's a stone, it's not a beehive. Oh, is it? No, it's a, a kern is a stone used to hand grind materials. Why do they call it beehive then? It's the top stone and it's rotated or turned because it looks like a beehive. Oh, it I looks see. like a beehive, but it's actually a grinding stone. Oh, right. mm. Mm. See, we're already learning things. Yeah, a beehive shaped kern. Mm. <laughs> and the Roman law. Coins, first coins. There's lots of Roman coins in that you can find, particularly around the saw. All right. Um, in Aber, uh, Mick is a metal detector and he finds more Roman coins than anything else. Because um, the saw was a navigable river right. yeah, during the Roman time, so they would be using it to And you can only navigate goods. little bits of it now, can't you? Yeah, that's right. Apart from the bit, yeah, that's because, why it's canalised. Yeah, yeah. And then you can... Yeah, then you lots can... of weirs and things like that, yeah. Look at that jar, it's beautiful. A beautiful blue jar. From Barrow on Saw. Oh, is it? Barrow on Saw Cemetery. And that's that's where you live. Is that where they found it? Yeah. What's he say? Large rural cemetery will have served a small Roman town situated under Barrow upon Saw. So there was a small Roman town under mm -hmm. And now you're living there. That's where Mick then that's, that's why he finds all the all the Roman coins in. Yeah. Oh. Mm. It's a cremation there. A cremation urn. Wow. I think it's survived all these years. It's yeah. unbelievable, really. There's the Romans. What are they doing when they're around here? Norman invasion. Changing the landscape. Garendon Hall and Park. Things like this interest are interesting. Oh, they're, they're lovely, aren't they? Tiles. Tiles, yeah. I even think modern day tiles, when they're done well, are interesting. Yeah. I'd quite like to see the back of them. Yeah. Which might seem perverse. But <laughs> why would you want to see the back of them? There's a lot of writing here. The Druids. And this is about the Druids' early beliefs. We know nothing of British religions until the Romans wrote about the rituals practiced by Celtic Druids. I've never seen that. I've been to Rofrey a few times, but never seen, uh, never been to the churchyard there. Seen that old Saxon. Well, that's somewhere for us to, to yeah. go then. Yeah. And see. Well, it is for another reason, isn't it? It's where. Is it Wilberforce? Signed the. Um, he did it at Rothley. Rothley Court. Rothley Court, didn't he? He wasn't. Uh, I don't know if it was Wilberforce who signed it there, but they did sign it. Signs, yeah. yeah. The, the Emancipation um, of Slaves yeah, Act. Yeah, yeah. It's a lovely poem, isn't it? A lovely. And we've got some exercises here for when kids come in or adults like us. Some gods are known by different names. Can you match up these Roman and Norse gods? Mars, Thor, Vulcan, Odin, Jupiter, Frig, Frigga, Venus, Tia, Juno, Freya. Now, who can match those up? We'll leave that for you to find and do for us. You can leave it in the comments below if you like. <laughs> I wouldn't know where to start. Vulcan is fire, isn't it? So that might be Freya. Rothley Court, that's another one too. It's a pub now, Rothley Court. Well, a, ho a hotel. hotel, hotel, yeah. But it's a hotel pub, it's a green... Yeah, oh, the Knights Templars, that's right. Was it Knights Templars? The Knights Templars the were Knight there. Templars. Yeah, and in, and in in Mount Sorrel... Oh, you found... Uh, where, there's a place where um, one of the last Knights Templar has got a memorial to him yeah. there. And of course, by that time, they were a secret society. Yeah. A secret society in the open, really, in a way. Yeah. And they, were declared, they were declared heretics, weren't they? Declared heretics by the Pope. Pope. And the Spanish Inquisition really went for them. Right. Well, the Spanish went for them for years. And finished up in Scotland at Temple. Is where they kind of are meant to have put all their secrets. 
isn't that in that uh, book come film? Yeah, in, 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 but they go to the other church, which is ne almost next door to right. the Temple Church. Um, what was that called? Um, Tom Hanks was in it, wasn't he? Tom Hanks, it, Da Vinci Code. Da Vinci Code. I watched it the other night. Did you? I enjoyed it. Yeah. I didn't think I was going to enjoy it, but I did enjoy yeah. it. The guy fastens that thing around his leg and he bleeds. You told me about the... Um, is that it? Where they've got that um, curiosity shop and the, an old hall. That's opposite the church, isn't it? In Loughborough. Is that what it is? Oh, yeah, it is. It is. It is, it is. Yeah. It's the antique shop. The antique shop, yeah. yeah curiosity. Lowe's. Lowe's. Charles Lowe. Charles Lowe, Lowe, yeah. Another place to visit. Definitely, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, we, we got escorted into the uh, the hall, didn't we? Yeah, he was... Where he, Cromwell... Yeah, no. Uh, was it Cromwell so, or Henry... So Henry VIII slept. M7. Henry VII. Henry VII. Was it Henry VIII? No. Henry VII. Henry VII, I reckon. Yeah. Henry VII. Oh. Yeah. There we go.